Huberman posted a monologue to social media recently. He wanted to correct some misconceptions about cold plunge. Hey everybody, let's resolve this deliberate cold exposure thing once and for all. It is true that if you do deliberate cold exposure in the shower, in a cold plunge, in an ice bath, whatever, in the two to eight hours after you resistance train, you will reduce the strength and hypertrophy increases that you hopefully trigger during that resistance training. However, it is also absolutely true that you can do deliberate cold exposure prior to your resistance training, or you can do it on separate days with absolutely no detriment to your hypertrophy and strength increases. Huberman did an extensive podcast with Professor Craig Heller from Stanford, who explained that heat extraction, either during exercise or in anticipation of exercise, provides a big boost to muscle power and increases endurance. But what they didn't talk about was how pre-cooling exercise for men will result in a big boost in total testosterone and speed recovery from that exercise. Second of all, there's a lot of discussion nowadays about the idea that perhaps women should not do deliberate cold exposure or that if they do, they should use warmer temperatures than men. Here's the deal. The only thing you're really seeking with deliberate cold exposure is the release of adrenaline from your adrenals in the body. It doesn't matter if you're a woman or you're a man. One of the things that Sims wrote about in her book, Roar, when she was talking about the difference in exercise physiology between men and women, is that, quote, once you throw training into the equation, the sex difference gap shrinks considerably. The same is true of cold. The more women train, the more adapted to the cold they get. And then we can really step aside from all this nonsense about whether or not, you know, half of our uh, species should or shouldn't do the cold plunge or the other half should or, you know, what temperatures to use. What really matters is not the sex of the person, but the extent to which the individual is cold trained.